the first type of biasing circuit is fixed bias circuit fixed bias circuit is the simplest dc bias configuration fixed bias configuration is also known as base bias configuration it is also known as base bias configuration and fixed bias configuration is shown in this figure in which vcc is the biasing potential and here vcc is not represented as potential difference but it is represented as potential at point potential at point rb is the resistance connected in series with the base and rc is the resistance connected in series with the collector potential at this point is equal to plus vcc potential at this point is equal to plus vcc and potential at this point is also equal to plus vcc so we can redraw this circuit we can redraw this circuit in which potential at this point is equal to plus vcc and potential at this point is also equal to plus vcc so i will remove this portion of the circuit and we have plus vcc as the potential here and plus vcc as the potential at this point now we can easily analyze this circuit and we will try to obtain the output current ic we have to obtain the output current ic and the output voltage vce the output voltage vce before starting the calculation i will represent the biasing potential vcc as potential difference vcc is positive vcc is positive so i will connect the positive plate here this is ground and ground is having zero potential so ground will act as the negative terminal i will complete the input circuit first ground is the negative terminal and now vcc is represented as the potential difference in the same way i will complete the output circuit vcc is positive so i will connect the positive plate here and the negative plate is connected to the ground because ground is at the lower potential so this is how the output circuit will look and now we can easily obtain the output current ic and the output voltage vce i will apply kvl in the input loop and we have plus vcc plus vcc minus ibrb minus ibrb minus vbe minus vbe equal to 0 from this equation we can easily calculate the base current base current is the input current so ib is equal to vcc minus vbe divided by rb this is the value of base current and we already know the collector current the collector current ic is equal to beta times ib so the collector current is simply equal to beta times vcc minus vbe divided by rb so this is the value of output current ic vbe is simply equal to 0.7 volts for silicon and it is equal to 0.3 volts for germanium because vbe is the voltage across the forward bias diode and when we replace the diode with its equivalent model and we are considering the constant voltage drop model then vbe is simply equal to 0.7 volts for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium so if we know the beta value the biasing potential and the resistance rb we can easily calculate the output current ic now we will calculate the output voltage vce and for this purpose i will again use the kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop we have plus vcc you can see we have plus vcc minus ic rc minus ic rc minus vce minus vce equal to zero and from this equation vce the output voltage is simply equal to vcc minus ic rc so we have the output voltage 
we have already calculated the output current IC and we can put this value here VCC is already known to us RC is already given to us and by using these values we can easily calculate the output voltage VCE I hope this configuration is clear to you now we will solve one example in this example we need to calculate the output current IC resistance RC resistance RB and the output voltage VCE for the fixed bias configuration in this circuit you can see VCC is equal to 14 volts VCC the biasing potential is equal to 14 volts IB the base current is equal to 40 microamps the base current is equal to 40 microamps beta is equal to 80 the amplification factor is equal to 80 and potential at this point VC is equal to 6 volts VC is equal to 6 volts now I will solve the A part I will calculate the output current IC solution of the A part we already know IC is equal to beta times IB beta is equal to 80 and IB is equal to 40 microamps so 80 multiplied by 40 microamps will give us the value of collector current and when you solve this you will have 3.2 milliamps as the value of output current IC now I will find out resistance RC B part of the problem I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law in the outer loop to obtain the value of resistance RC I will start from 14 volts and end at 6 volts we have 14 volts 14 volts minus ICRC equal to 6 volts and if you don't know how to deal with potential at points you may watch the series diode configuration lecture in that lecture I have explained how to deal with point potentials now we will calculate RC RC is equal to 14 volts minus 6 volts divided by IC 14 minus 6 is equal to 8 volts IC is equal to 3.2 milliamps 3.2 milliamps when you solve this you will have 2.5 kilo ohms as the value of resistance RC in the C part of the problem we have to calculate resistance RB in the C part we need to calculate the resistance RB and this time also I will use KVL but in the input loop I will start from 14 volts so we have 14 volts minus IBRB drop across resistance RB minus minus VBE VBE and it is equal to 0 I can easily find out RB it is equal to 14 volts minus VBE divided by the base current IB VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts so we have 13.3 volts divided by 40 microamps when you solve this you will have value of RB equal to 332.5 kilo ohms the next thing is the output voltage VCE VCE is equal to VC minus VE VC is the potential at point C and VE is the potential at point E potential at point C is equal to 6 volts so we have 6 volts minus potential at point E is equal to 0 volts because it is connected to the ground so we have 0 volts when you solve this you will have 6 volts as the value of output voltage VCE so this is all for this numerical problem and in case of fixed bias configuration in case of fixed bias configuration the emitter base junction is forward biased by VCC and the collector base junction is reverse biased by VCC from the next lecture onwards we will not draw this form of the circuit we will perform all the analysis using this form of the circuit in which VCC is represented as potential at point the two coupling capacitors are also there in this circuit the first coupling capacitor is connected like this let's say this capacitor is C1 and we apply 
the input AC signal the input AC signal at this terminal and the second coupling capacitor is connected like this let's say this capacitor is C2 and we obtain the output AC signal output AC signal at this terminal but we ignore capacitor C1 and capacitor C2 in DC analysis because because reactance offered by the capacitor is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc where F is the frequency C is the capacitance and we already know frequency is equal to 0 in case of DC so reactance is equal to 1 divided by 0 which is equal to infinity and because of this capacitor C1 and capacitor C2 will be replaced by open circuit because infinity resistance is offered by open circuit so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one